In this example for a compound curve, we're given information about the curve and asked to find the PC, the PCC, and the PT. We're told that curve A has a radius of 726 feet and turns to the left at a deflection angle of 17 degrees, 18 minutes, 44 seconds. Curve B has a radius of 465 feet and has a deflection angle of 10 degrees, 14 minutes, 28 seconds, again to the left. And we're also told that, that delta B or curve B is next to the PC. We also see that curve B has a smaller radius than curve A, so we should really change the notation as we work in this problem so that curve B uses a nomenclature of 2 and curve A uses the term 1 uh, to denote those terms. We're also given the PI station of 110 plus 00. zero. So we have R1 equal to 726 feet. Delta 1 is 17 degrees, 18 minutes, 44 seconds. Again, this is our terminology for compound curves. R2 will then be 465 feet. Delta 2 is 10 degrees, 14 minutes, 28 seconds. And our total intersecting angle, delta 1 plus delta 2, is going to be 27 degrees, 33 minutes, 13 seconds. For this problem, we are going to solve for T sub B. That's the tangent of interest for this particular problem to, fall, to solve for the stationing for this compound curve. Inputting the terms for R1, R2, the intersecting angle, and delta 1, we can then work out the problem for T sub B. Simplifying, we should find a tangent for this curve between the PI and the PC of 139.58 feet. We also need to solve for the lengths of the curve, so we'll start with solving for the degrees of curvature for each individual curve. DC1 is 18,000 divided by pi times the radius of 726 feet. It gives us a DC1 of 7.89 degrees. DC2 is 18,000 divided by pi times 465 feet. It gives us a DC2 of 12.32 degrees. Now we can solve for the lengths. L1 is 100 times 17 degrees, 18 minutes, 44 seconds, divided by 7.89 degrees. Gives us an L1 of 219.36 feet. L2 is 100 times 10 degrees, 14 minutes, 28 seconds, divided by 12.32 degrees. Gives us a length of 83.11 feet. Now we can solve for the stations of our compound curve, we're given the PI station of 110 plus 00. zero. We're going to subtract off the tangent length, T sub B, to reach the PC. The tangent length is 1 plus 39.58. Gives us a point of curvature, the PC, of 108 plus 60.42. Now we're going to add the length of the curve that comes first. The first curve in this case was L2. We're going to add 83. 0.11 feet to get a point of compound curvature of 109 plus 43.53. Now we're going to add the second curve, which was L1, which is 2 plus 19.36, to give us the PT station of 111 plus 62.89.